What up, WDN, TTC, LG is in the building, you hear me? First of all, I want to say shout out to the New York Jets. Y'all want fair and square, you hear me? Good game. Um, Y'all defense came to play, you know, um, the offense came to play. Chris Ivory tore it up, you know, which nobody expected. I expected, though. I just ain't never bought it up. One of the things I should have bought up in my Heat Week video, you hear me? Hey, Chris Ivory was the X Factor. Yeah, we all knew how hard Chris Ivory could run, you hear me? Almost 200 yards rushing against us, you dig? Good game all around, you hear me? You know, um, things just, it just is out of tax day, you know? Um, Basically, my thing is with this game is, you hear me? Two things. Running game and offensive line, you dig? Defense came to play like always. I'm so proud of our defense, but our offense so far has been extremely inconsistent. It's not Breeze's fault. Everybody keeps saying it's not Breeze's day, but Breeze can't really have a day if the offensive line is not blocking right, you hear me? If the offensive line, you know, is not, you know, doing their job, how do you expect the man up front to, you know, handle his business, you know, and um get the job done, you dig? It's just not going to happen, no matter how you look at it, you hear me? So... We have to find some players who can dag on step up to the drawing board, you hear me? A lot of missed opportunities, you dig? Again, um, again, we have way too many weapons to just be throwing at Jimmy Graham. For some reason, the Saints, they have this, this thing about them. They just like to throw to Jimmy Graham. And we have many other receivers, you know. That's how the Saints always rolled since 06, before Graham came, you know, um, the Saints have always been a team, you know, to move the ball around, you hear me? You got Lance Moore. You got Robert Meacham. You got Coast and Coastal was out. Yeah, Sproles. Sproles was out, you hear me? But by you just showing that, you know, um, without without um, Marcus Coast and Darren Sproles and the way they was covering Graham a little bit at the end, you mean, you know, you know, you just basically show them, you know, that um, you're showing everybody, you know, that you don't have no receivers. You got Kenny Steele. You got Rob Meacham. You got Nick Toon. You know, you got all these players and the offensive line. I'm so pissed off at the offensive line. The offensive line and the running game. Again, the reason we should have kept Chris Ivory. I know it's in the past. We can't do anything about that, you know. But Chris Ivory, you know, he, he just handled his business, you dig. Again, that's the, that's the effect of Chris Ivory. He's a hard-ass running, uh, running back, and I thought that was our future. And look how that turned out for us. Chris Ivory going hard in New York, and he had a deal against us. And, and Mark Ingram, yeah. Garrett Hartley can take two of these with him. Still, shout out to you for making a Super Bowl kick. Everybody be talking about, oh, on this Hartley Super Bowl kick. And a 55 yard kick was good. You did. I can't really tell you to take two of these with you because, like I said, you did make that 55 yard kick. You hear me? You know, but, you know, um, performances just haven't been top notch the last few weeks. You hear me? Um, like I said, without a running game, without an offensive line, you ain't going nowhere. And Breeze could get hurt. Breeze almost got hurt today, you dig. Like his his, his they, they like they almost took his his knee out of socket. You hear me? I hope he be all right. I hope he don't have no sore knee or nothing. Cause I'm gonna be at a sore knee like that in 2010. It made him inconsistent. And we have a very very tough um road stretch coming up. You hear me? We um at Dallas. I mean we versus Dallas Sunday night. Then we got San Francisco coming to the dome. And we couldn't even stop this 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 front line. You hear me? Imagine 49ers. You know um. Breeze look too inconsistent, man. Um, the offensive line really is not protecting Breeze, and you know it's, it's not. It's really not helping. You did. You then Breeze getting old, all like a well for him. You did. Breeze never been sacked like this. It's coming to New Orleans the most. I think he 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 wasn't even sacked. I don't think he was sacked today, but um, it was it was a bunch of hurry, You know, you gotta fix that up. You know, I'm pretty sure nobody who that nation was impressed because he don't have no protection. We could have made it come back in. You know, it was all for not. You dig? Um, you know. Um, as far as Seattle go, you know, it's not really our business. You know, um, Seattle somewhere else, they 8-1, you dig? They down, they was down 21 nothing against the Yuccaneers, and what they do? We let, they came back and beat Seattle, you dig? You know, you know, they, you, you know, they gonna talk that, they, they gonna talk about that like crazy, you dig? All I can say is, you know, um, we keep saying we need to see how the same gonna do on the road. When they do come down to that game, I guess again it's gonna be a serious test. Cause Breeze had a hard time. Saints even had a hard time with the with the hard count and everything. You know the um the time keeping up with the time. And he kept committing penalties and keep calling timeouts. It just it just ain't look like the Saints at all. Sean Payton needs to really get back to playing the way he knows how to play football. You dig the first time he came to New Orleans, you're know, getting this team back together. Drew Breeze needs to dig on get his head. 
together. I, um, There's a couple of things that Breeze did, you know, but um, I feel like it wasn't all Breeze's fault. Again, you know, wide receivers was dropping past, you know, offensive line, you know, things just was not looking good at all, you know what I mean? You know, but um, this video getting uh, long, you know what I mean? So I'm going to go ahead and cut it there, but overall, my thing is, you know, um, shout out to the Jets, you know, but we have to really, um, we have to really, um, strap up now. Dallas, San Francisco, we had Atlanta, even though Atlanta looking horrible, it's still a division rival, you dig, so you don't want to take no chance. Any given Sunday or Thursday, you dig, then you have to go at, um, to Carolina, who's not 5-3, and three. you know, uh, Carolina, they, they don't intimidate me, you dig, but I mean, you know, they're right there by division, you hear me, so basically, you know, um, you want to see how things turn out, you dig, but anyway, man, LJ is in the building, I let your boy. You got Dallas next. Dallas, I really feel sorry for y'all. You got to come to the Dome on prime time night. And that's usually when the Saints don't lose, you know what I mean? Like I said, so that's, how, you know, that's why I said we're going to see what happened a couple of weeks with that Seattle game on prime time. But anyway, man, I'll let your boy. One.